Hello friends, welcome to our channel Card and Loan Official. Uh, today we are going to talk about a very important subject and that's directly related to you and to me and to all of us, right? We all know that sales is the most important part of any organization. It has always been the most important part of any organization in the past. It is there today and it will continue to be a most important part of any organization tomorrow also. It doesn't make a difference whether a person talks about digital marketing, whether the person talks about direct sales, whether the person talks about door-to-door -door sales or door-to-door -door marketing, or he can choose any form of marketing. But sales is important because sales is something which adds revenue to the organization and it ensures that the organization grows bigger better and you know uh, they acquire more and more customer you all uh, probably will not be shocked to know that there are a lot of organizations who spend immense amount of money to acquire customer there is a uh, acquisition cost for any customer that we talk about so to acquire customers there are a lot of companies which ensure that they spend a lot and a lot of money all right so today we are going to talk about sales and in sales, to be specific, we will be ta talking about uh, selling skills, right? Uh, generally, you know what happens is, I have seen majority of us, like, you know, uh, we are so scared of sales, we are so scared of marketing. We think that, you know, if we get into sales and marketing, probably we will not be able to achieve what we want to achieve. What if we don't sell? Will we get our salary? What if we don't sell? Will we get our commission? What if we don't sell? Will we have the job or not? Fear not. Do not fear. So today we are going to learn and today we are like, you know, uh, we will discuss about A to F of selling skills, right? It starts with A and ends with F. And we will learn A, B, C, D, E, F of selling skills, right? So this selling skills will ensure that, you know, uh, you turn out to be a better person, you become a better salesperson. And today we are going to learn. So before we proceed further, uh, guys, I would request you all to subscribe, subscribe to the channel uh, Card and Loan Official. And you guys are welcome to Card and Loan Official. All right. Uh, ensure that you know you share it with majority of the people to most of the person because when we are talking about selling skills the selling skills is not related only to backing sales it's related to anyone and everyone who are into sales and marketing and it will benefit all of them please do share please do make people aware about the selling skills because it's really uh, the easiest thing in the entire world if you know how to sell it well so let's start, let's begin, let's learn, and we will start learning about A to F, which is A, B, C, D, E, F of selling skills, all right? So first thing which comes in selling skills is A. When we talk about A, the first very important thing for any job, any profession, any businesses, any, whether it's a small company or it's a big company, whether it's a small profile, it's a big profile, the first thing which is very important is attitude. You need to have an attitude. Attitude doesn't mean negative attitude. You need to have a positive attitude. You need to believe that what you're doing is correct. You need to ensure that what you're doing is right. You need to you know, uh, have an attitude to carry yourself. You need to have an attitude. An attitude is a generic word but a lot of things comes in attitude and unless or until you don't have an attitude to sell or unless or until you don't have an attitude for any profession, you cannot succeed. Don't just waste time, you know, use time, utilize it yeah. and use it for, the you know, for your benefits. So you need to have a right attitude if you want to sell any product or if you want to do any job. Attitude is very, very important. The second thing which comes in A is approach. You need to approach the client. If you do not approach, you will not know 
whether that client needs the product or he doesn't need the product. If you will not approach, you will not know whether the client has a need for the product or he doesn't have a need for the product. So you need to approach and you need to approach every individual who may have a requirement of your product, right? So if you don't approach your client, you will never get the sales done. So you need to approach to the client. Don't feel shy. Don't be ashamed of your profession. Don't feel bad about anything. If you are into sales, trust me, you are into one of the best profession because this profession, the sales, whether it's banking, whether it's uh, FMCG, whether it's uh, real estate or whether it's any industry, sales plays a vital role for the growth of any organization. So you are doing a great job and you are adding value to your organization. So don't feel shy and ensure that you approach and number of customers and if you're not getting sales don't feel bad don't feel disheartened don't feel depressed don't feel negative if you're approaching 100 customers start approaching 200 if you're approaching 200 customers start approaching 400 but with the right attitude and you will grow so once you approach the customer then what you need to do is you need to analyze you need to analyze what his requirements are you just cannot go you cannot approach and then like you know you just uh, say whatever you want to say you need to analyze whether the customer has that requirement or not or whether that customer fits into the profile profile of a customer that you're looking for so analyze analysis is very important once you analyze then you need to articulate your sales pitch you cannot speak vague about anything customer can speak vague because customer is not from your industry customer might ask n number of questions customer might ask irrelevant questions customer might uh, say anything that he wants right but you need to articulate your sales pitch you cannot just go blind so if you have to articulate to your sales pitch you need to have the knowledge about your product. Learning is very important and learning is not only like, you know, you learn anything. Learning is specific to your profession is important. You need to upgrade yourself. And once you have learned, once you have upgraded, you will know how to articulate. I'm not going to tell you about the sales pitch. I'm not going to tell you like, you know, how you need to sell, what you need to say. No, I will only tell you the, uh, you know, how, how to, get into that sales pitch and how or what are the points that you need to pick up from your sales pitch and then you know you deliver the way you want to deliver but a is important where you need to have an attitude you need to approach to customer you need to analyze your customer and then you need to articulate your sales pitch don't just run, mug up everything which is there in the product just mug up five or six or seven points which is very important, which you think will add value to customer. And then you write your sales pitch the way you want to uh, practice it and practice it n number of times. And once you think you are perfectly fine, you know, go and reach out to your customers. Trust me, this will help you a lot. B is... <clears throat> First B is body language. Body language is very important. The way you talk, you know, when you go and meet with the customer, you need to ensure that you go and shake hands with the customer. You need to ensure that you have a smile on your face when you're meeting a customer. You can have a bad day. Probably in the morning you had a bad uh, discussion, debate or an argument with your line manager. Probably you had a bad experience with your previous customer. Probably when you started your journey from home to office, you met with someone and your mood is spoiled. That doesn't make a difference. Every sales pitch has to be a new pitch and you need to mold yourself. You need to ensure that you have a smile on your face and you need to ensure that when you're going and meeting with the customer, the posture that you set in, the handshake needs to be firm. You know, uh, the 
uh, when you're standing and talking to a customer, your posture needs to be straight. You need to smell pleasant. You need uh, to look fresh, despite the fact that you know, you're walking on the streets and you're doing a door-to-door -door sell, but you need to look fresh. Because for that customer, he doesn't know how many customers you have already approached, how much you have walked on the street, how, uh, you know, probably, uh, uh, how do I say, like, you know, uh, uh, how tired you are, nothing makes a difference. What makes a difference is that when you went to a customer, are you looking fresh or not? Are you looking pleasant or not? Are you, uh, like, you know, uh, does a customer get a good feeling about you or not when you're going and meeting with them? So ensure that, you know, you're perfect. I know it's very difficult to attain perfection, but ensure that in your body language, you're perfect, right? Everything makes a difference. When you stand, the way you sit, the way you ask questions, the way you, when you meet with the customer, like, you know, ensure that you maintain an eye contact uh, the way you smile, you know, the way you start your sales pitch, everything makes a difference, right? So this is important. Body language is very important. Second is behavior. You need to have a good behavior with the customer. Customer might have a very bad day. He can react. He can shout. He can close the door on your face or anything can happen. Do we need to retaliate to that? The answer is no. Do we need to behave in a similar fashion with the customer? Answer is no. If a customer is shouting, do we need to yell at the customer? Answer is no. You need to be in the best form of your behavior. You cannot behave bad with the customer. Never, not at all. It's a no-go. So always behave properly with the customer it's very important right customer we are in sales we need to mold ourselves accordingly right customer can be good customer can be bad few customers might give a smile on our face few customers might give uh you know uh, make us feel bad or down <coughs> but we need to have or uh, we need to maintain the best behavior with any customer all right third is Communicate. When you talk about communicate, that doesn't mean that you know your product and you have spoken in front of a customer and customer knows everything. No. You have an expertise in your industry. You have an expertise in your world. You have an expertise in what you do because you're doing it on a daily basis. For a customer, he is a lay man. He knows nothing about it. Nothing. He doesn't even know an iota of information. Consider that. So when you communicate, Communication or effective communication is that when you're telling it to a customer, customer understands everything. Customer can ask a number of questions. Answer all his questions. Don't miss sell. Do not miss sell. There's a difference between answering a question to a customer. There's a difference between miss selling. If you do not know an answer, please tell straight away to the customer that, sir, I'm not aware about the answer but I will get back to you with the answer and ensure that you get back to him with the answer. It's important. So you need to communicate to a customer. So whatever you are telling to a customer, ensure that customer understands. If he doesn't understand, explain him again and again and again so that customer understands. It's very important. And when you talk about communication or communicate, ensure that there is a clarity in your communication. Clarity is very important. Why clarity is important is you are here to convince a customer and you can convince a customer only if you have clarity in your communication and you'll have clarity only if you have the product knowledge and to get the product knowledge you need to ensure that you do a revision before you reach out to the customer. You do a discussion with your colleagues, with your seniors, with your subordinates before you reach out to a customer. You ensure that any question which a customer is asking, which is related to your product, you should have an answer to that. If you don't have an answer, be firm, be straight, tell him, sir, I do not have an answer for that, but I will get back to you soon on this answer and ensure that you get the answer and you reach back to the customer and tell him, 
that this is the answer which he was looking for. Please ensure that you do that, right? D. First D is the same thing. You need to be disciplined. And discipline is a generic word and a lot of things comes into discipline. If a customer has given you an appointment of 11 o'clock, I'm just giving you a hypothetical number or hypothetical time. If a customer said, please come at 11, whether a customer is late or he is not late, that doesn't make a difference. But ensure that you reach and you are there for the appointment at least 5, 10, 15 minutes earlier. Do not make customer wait. You need to be disciplined. For any instance, and this is instance, it may happen once or twice, but if it is happening, ensure you call the customer in advance, tell him that you will be getting late, you are probably on your way, and you will be late, please mention the specific time, whether you will be late by 5 minutes, 10 minutes, half an hour, tell him that you will be late by so and so time, but ensure that you reach before that time. You have to tell the customer that you will be late if you are going to be late. But 99.9% .9 of the time you cannot afford to be late so don't be late guys because it sends a very wrong and a negative message when you don't reach the customer on time discipline is important very very important second is dedication if you want to do sales if you want to be in any profession, you need to be dedicated. If you are not dedicated for your work, whatever profession you do and however you do it, you will not succeed. You need to be dedicated. You have to give 100%. If 100% is not enough, give 200%. If 200% is not enough, give 500%. But be dedicated. You need to ensure that you are there. You are in. You are into the system. You want things to be done and you want things to be done in a proper way dedication is everything that you're talking about every if your body language is not correct your posture is not correct work on that if your sales pitch is not correct work on that dedication is everything you need to give yourself into the profession that you are in trust me people who are crazy people who are mad people who dream and dream so big that he doesn't get sleep because he wants to be into it that's a dedication which is needed and trust me we have if you see among yourself itself yourself uh, it only that there are few people who are really doing great for the organization for himself and he's making too much of money and at the same time there are n number of people who are unable to even justify their salary or who are unable to do even minimum number of sales the reason is very simple. Both of them have 24 hours of their time. Both of them are going to office and working for 8 hours. Both of them are working for 5 days or 6 days in a week. But it's all about dedication. Remember one thing. Everybody says that, you know, uh, you need to believe in smart work. You know, you have to be smart. You need to work smartly. Unless, uh, until you don't work hard, you will not know the smartest way of working first you need to work smart sorry work hard once you start working hard then you become smarter with your work and you can change your style of working but most important is you need to work intellectually god has given us all brain use your brain and work whether it's hard work it's smart work or it's intellectually working doesn't make a difference but dedication is important third is Determination. You need to be determined. You need to ensure that you have, if you have given a commitment, not to your managers, not to your colleagues, not to anyone else. If you have given a commitment to your own self, to you, that you are going to do this task or do this number of sales by this day, you need to ensure that you fulfill your commitment. You need to be determined on what you do. Trust me, manifestation plays a very important role. If you manifest, if you determine, if you are giving, you are disciplined, you are dedicated, 
you will achieve what you want to achieve in a very short span of time. So determination is very important. Break your time, right? Break your time. Break your time in such a way that in one hour, what you're going to do, in second hour, what you're going to do, in third hour, what you're going to do, and ensure that you do it effectively. All right? So D is done. <clears throat> E. First E is enhance. Enhance your knowledge. Knowledge is power. I'm not saying that, you know, learn anything and everything about the world. No, of course, we cannot. As a human being or whatever profession that you talk about, people cannot learn everything in this entire world. No one can. But whatever that you're doing, whatever that you're working, Whatever that your specific role is, you need to keep on enhancing your knowledge. Every now, every second, every moment. Keep enhancing yourself. Keep upgrading yourself. Ensure that you become better than what you were yesterday. And tomorrow's Iqbal should be better than what Iqbal is today. You need to keep enhancing. And to enhance after a hand, educate yourself. It's very important that you educate yourself because education, again I said education is not related to your profile. Education is related to whatever that you are doing, right? So you need to educate yourself so that if you start educating about the product, you will become better and people will come and ask you you'll have the center of attraction people even your managers will come and say okay fine like you know this guy knows the product or this guy knows in and out of the product please go and ask him you will get a better reputation among your team members right so educate yourself next is empathize you need to empathize with the customer. There may be a lot of customers who may say that I don't need the product. You cannot push the product to him. He doesn't need the product. Fine. Walk out. Go to the next customer. There are n number of customers who needs the product. Reach out to the correct customer. Do not start pushing the product that, sir, you know, this product is best for you. You should go and take it. Empathize with the customer. Take a chill pen. Relax. Every customer will not say yes to you. Probably you will approach 100 customers and out of 100, there will be two customers who will say yes to you and out of that two, one may get converted or probably out of 100. <coughs> Excuse me guys, I'm not just keeping well, but you know, coming back to you was more important. But nevertheless, back to business. So probably you reached out to 100 customers and because you reached out to 100 customers, what becomes important is out of 100, 10 may say yes. And out of 10, probably one or two may get converted, right? So you need to learn how to empathize with the customer. Next is evaluate. You need to evaluate. Generally, people who are into banking sales, you need to know that all the customer who says yes to us is not going to be onboarded. You need to evaluate whether he's eligible for the product or not, right? He can be eligible, he cannot be eligible. He may be eligible, he may not be eligible. So you need to reach out to the customer and you need to evaluate his profile and understand whether he's eligible for the product or not. If he's eligible for the product, very good, mashallah, go ahead and get him on board in. Okay? But evaluate your customer. Perfect. So enhance, educate, empathize and evaluate if what is needed. F is very important and this is follow up. Any customer that you're going and meeting will not say yes up front. He will say that probably, okay, fine. I like your product. I like your approach. I like the way you talk. I like your body language. I like everything about you. But please give me some time so that I can think about the product and I can think whether I need this product or not and then I'll get back to you. 
follow up is very very important a customer who does not have a requirement of your product <coughs> today will for sure have a requirement of your product tomorrow so the product is important ensure that you follow up with the customer the follow up will convert your customers in the long run even if a customer does not have a requirement of your product he will think that this chap or this person or the sales officer is falling up since so long and he may say yes to you follow up is very very important so what we have done today guys is we have learned the selling skills from a to f which is great and probably in start or ensure that you start using all a to f in your selling skills and you will see that you will grow but first thing which is very important is attitude last which is very important is follow up so please put this and trust me each one of you who is watching this video will turn out to be a great sales officer do good don't forget to comment don't forget to like the video don't forget to share the video don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to send this video to as many people as possible there is one more question guys that i want to ask you all uh, uh i'm just thinking of building a community building a community of sales officers or feed on street or sales agents whatever you call it do you think we should go ahead and build a community for sales officer if you think we should build a community then do comment whether we need to build the community or not and i'll be looking forward for your comments love you guys remember me in your prayers take care shabakar bye